Hello guys, in this video let's set up some uh, VLANs. We're going to be doing that uh, using the uh, web GUI and uh, as of November 2023 the version of my firmware is 3.3.0 on my UISP router. So we are seeing the interface for that uh, firmware. Uh, this is the updated one. So in the previous video, I disabled port 9 and 10, which we will assign to um, uh, VLAN uh, for IoT tanks and uh, camera system. So if we go back to um, interfaces and uh, switch, you can see that I disabled them previously so they currently turned off so we can now uh, add new interfaces and assign them to new VLANs so let's go back to a switch um, and interface over here we're gonna click add interface and uh, we need to choose the type of interface we're gonna choose VLAN we're gonna choose interface nine. Uh, we can give it a name. Um, let's make this VLAN uh, 22 IoT. We're gonna have to type in the uh, VLAN number here, 22, and we can apply the changes. Okay, um, one other thing here, we have to go back to this port nine. As a matter of fact, we can do it in one shot. We have to assign the uh, default gateway. So we're gonna click IP address at static IP. And we're gonna choose, let's say 192.168. Uh, let's make this 200.1 slash 24. And we're gonna click apply here. Now we need to create the uh, table, the HCP table. So when we plug into this port, um, we'll be provided with available IP from that subnet. Okay, so now you can see in configuration that we have a uh, subnet 192.168.200.1. Now we go to settings, the HCP servers, we're gonna add a server I'm gonna choose the port 9 and it will auto populate over here so all we have to do is just say queue changes and apply changes alright now we have to do um, another interface okay let's uh, configure the second VLAN for security camera so we're gonna go to uh, add interface. We're gonna select VLAN and we're gonna uh, choose interface 10. And we're gonna call this VLAN 10. Okay, and we gotta give it an ID. So we're gonna do VLAN 10. I'm going to hit apply changes. Uh, once we go in, we go configuration. I'm going to assign the uh, gateway IP to this uh, 122.1 slash 24. It's pushing the updates. Okay, it says an interface updated successfully. Um, okay, now we're gonna go to settings, DHCP. We're gonna add a DHCP table. We're gonna select interface 10. 
it's gonna auto populate which is fine uh, we keep it enabled and we queue changes apply changes okay now we can go back to interfaces and as you can see my computer is connected to port 4 so my original switch which uh, is the uh, default subnet um, it's 88.1 so I'm just gonna switch now to port 9 as you can see we got uh, gateway 192.168.200.1 now I'm gonna switch over to port 10 and as you can see we got the new uh, VLAN subnet 10 120.1 uh, okay we can do a, a ping to Google And as you can see, I have internet connectivity. Thank you for watching.